Okay, so I'm seven weeks, two days today, December 10th. And yesterday in the evening afternoon time, I felt no nausea at all and no fatigue. And I felt pretty amazing. And then this morning, I feel amazing too. And I haven't felt any nausea either. So now I'm getting a little concerned. So I'm gonna try to pull out my Doppler and listen for a heartbeat. I cannot believe I'm already week five, day six, and tomorrow I'm gonna start week six in pregnancy because I do not feel pregnant, to be honest with you guys. I'll expand on that in a second. Looking at our Pregnancy Plus app, I love this app, and I'm not sponsored by them or anything. Once you open it up, you actually see the baby, and you can just go side by side and see the baby from all angles and then it has this sound effect like you know deep down in water and then if you touch the baby it actually moves which is interesting and then it's telling you what's happening in week five and speaking of symptoms i have a very regimented supplement schedule and i'm also doing a ketogenic diet during my pregnancy so i think honestly being healthy what you take in your diet and your supplements plays a huge role into whether you actually get the nausea and fatigue so far my symptoms that i've truly felt is i do get the nausea but nowhere close to what i got it with my first and second pregnancy i get nausea maybe tops five minutes a day and then the other symptom that i'm having right now is i'm peeing a lot in the middle of the night i really hate it but that's pretty much all the symptoms i'm having so far December 9th, uh, seven weeks, two days today. I will say nausea did start coming in pretty heavily yesterday and I found myself having to eat early in the morning. I usually like to wait until noon to start eating. Like today, I went ahead and ate at 10 a.m. just to keep the nausea as minimalistic as possible. Luckily, I don't feel any heavy fatigue like I did my first two pregnancies. And just as a reminder, with my first two pregnancies, the first one, I had extreme food aversions. The thought of garlic and onion made me want to throw up. If I knew there was garlic or onion, even just garlic powder in my food, I would not eat it. And so I survived on a lot of milkshakes, unfortunately, with my first pregnancy. With my second pregnancy, I knew a little better. So I took supplements, which definitely helped with my nausea. I still had the fatigue, but the nausea, I didn't have any food aversions or anything of the sort. This pregnancy, I would say it is the best so far. The fatigue hasn't hit me anywhere close to what it has been my first pregnancy and my second pregnancy, and that was my number one annoyance in first trimester. Okay, so I'm seven weeks, two days today, December 10th, and yesterday in the evening afternoon time, I felt no nausea at all and no fatigue. And I felt pretty amazing. And then this morning, I feel amazing too. And I haven't felt any nausea either. So now I'm getting a little concerned. I mean, I've already felt okay so far, like I said, during this pregnancy, but I still would get like a whiff of nausea here and there. So I'm gonna try to pull out my Doppler and listen for a heartbeat, even though they say to start around week nine, but I'm gonna go ahead and start now and see if I hear anything. Technical difficulties, guys. I've had this for four years and I'm not sure it's gonna work. So I think I need to get a new one. Well, tell me, hubs, how are you feeling about, you know, week eight, possibly 
meeting our third baby today on what's December 16th? December 16th. How are you feeling? I highly doubt it's twins because I haven't really felt much during this pregnancy. I'm not complaining, but I'm hoping 